Hi friends, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. I am still in Costa Rica. My video quality might be a little iffy. I'm sorry about that. But I wanted to come on today because it's been a while since I've had one of these talks with you guys. Um, I want to talk about the wealth disparity in Costa Rica. And I know like a lot of people like to say, oh, it's just America. Oh, America sucks. Like there's so many poor people. Yes, that is true. The wealth gap and the income gap in America is horrid. There's a bunch of homeless people everywhere. There's people who can barely make ends meet. But I want to talk about the experience when you leave the country and you go to another country like Mexico, like Costa Rica, like Panama, and you see all these mother freaking rich people coming here and pushing the locals out. It is the exact same as the United States. It is no different. And I know people out there are like, oh, it can't be that bad as Costa Rica, blah, blah. I'm not talking about the freaking tourist towns with all the people with their money, like la di da having a good time. I'm talking about staying in the cities, in the actual towns where the locals live in Costa Rica. And it breaks my freaking heart to see fucking Lamborghinis on the road, Audis, BMWs, all these people buying these condos, these foreign investors. And then when I go out and I am the type of person, when I go out in another country, I make friends, like I make local friends, right? And I know, I know the language for the most part. So it's easy for me, but I go out and I start talking to these people. I say, you know, uh, where do you live? Like in the city, you live in the city, where do you live? You know? And then we, I, I start talking to them and it's, insane how similar it is and it's like this in a lot of countries it's global at this point you guys like the rich are ruining life for everyone else and it's messed up it's messed up and people don't want to actually like deal with the real problem they just want to argue against each other right but the rich are causing this problem worldwide because of globalization but that's another topic but when I talk to the locals it's crazy because I'm just like I'm like, how, how are you doing this? Like, how are you making ends meet? Especially in Costa Rica, which is like one of the wealthiest Central American countries, maybe not the wealthiest. Okay, mate, wait, the one with the most money. So I talked to them and I'm like, how do you do this? Like, how do you make ends meet? They, they always say, I rent, it's hard to get by. I rent, it's hard to, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. It's the same damn thing because their government has given away their country to freaking rich expats who are ruining it for everyone else. It's like, it blows my mind. And before you guys come at me and be like, oh, you're part of the problem too. I am not because I live in Airbnbs. I do not buy anything. I can't afford to, I'm not rich. Yo, I'm not rich, bro. Like, come at me all you want. I'm not rich and I'm not part of the problem. I want to help. Like, that's how bad it is. Like, a, I was eating dinner tonight and a little girl, a little girl comes up to me and asks me for money. And I'm just like, oh my God, like these people, it's so sad. And then when I was Ubering today, I, I do Uber Eats sometimes in the city and the you know the uber drivers they have a place where they can put their little bio and stuff like why do i uber eats and my uber driver today wrote i do it to help my family and that's just like it sickens me it sickens me that any of you and if any of you are watching you freaking one percent piece of shit assholes fuck you fuck you i hope you go to fucking hell and you can't take your money with you when you're gone so enjoy it but listen those people, man, they're ruining it for everybody in the world. America, Costa Rica, Mexico, wherever you want to name it, name the country, name the country. Rich investors who are scooping up real estate, who are driving up prices, they are fucking it up for everyone and making life harder for the locals. And it breaks my heart. It's like, I see construction here. Like you wouldn't believe the construction that's going on here. It's freaking mind blowing, like luxury condominiums. Guess, the, guess what the prices are? Okay, this is Costa Rica. Guess what the starting prices are for this shit? Low 200s. That's messed up. That shouldn't be happening in Costa Rica, but it is, and it's terrible. I see a lot of homeless people on the street with signs here, and it's just like, once you leave your little bubble of like your own country, 
and you think it's bad there, it's the same everywhere, man. It's really, really sad. And to make it worse, it's just increasing in velocity because the rich get richer. They just do. The rich get richer. They keep buying up stuff. They keep jacking up prices. And I'm not going to sit here and say it's all 100% their fault. It's a large contributor. It's not 100% the rich people's fault. It's also the government's fault. It's also the government's fault for allowing it to happen. But a large contributor to this, <laughs> to this disparity, this problem, this homelessness, this wealth gap, is the wealthy people. And it just makes me really sad to come to a country like Costa Rica and look around and be like, why is this happening? Like these people here, they make less money than like, you think minimum wage in the United States is bad, honey. Minimum wage here is probably like, I think it's like two US dollars or like 250 US dollars or something. It's terrible is terrible and the prices here for the cost of living it's 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 a worse the cost of living is worse here than in the united states if you are a service worker here if you are anything but a rich freaking you know foreign expat or if you're a doctor or whatever if you're not any of those here it's difficult and I don't know. I just wish the, I just wish it would change. I mean, what, what has to happen to make it change, dude? I don't know. Sound off in the comments. If you think you have the answer, because outside of stopping giving these people money outside of stopping, like, you know, buying what they sell and stopping to just keep their money train going. I don't know what the answer is, but I just want to jump on real quick and say like, it's not an isolated problem. It's a global problem at this point because of globalization. Um, that is the driving force behind every country having this issue at this point. Like it blows my mind. There's nowhere to go anymore to be able to save money. You know, and these rich people who come here, they might not have been rich in their home country, but they sure as hell are rich here, but then it's making it worse for everyone else. And it's just a giant cycle because people come to the United States and do this. And then Americans who can't afford it anymore go to countries like this or Mexico and do this. And they, and they make life hard for the locals there. So then the locals there try to figure out where to go. And it's just a giant cycle. And it just like... I don't know. And, it, and I'm the type of person who likes to help people. You know, when I see you on the street, if I see you on the street and like you're asking for food, like I'll give you food if I have it. But there comes a point when there's too many people like that. And like one person, you want to help them, but you, you can't give like an item of food to every single one you see because you just don't have it. So it's crazy. I just wanted to come on here. It's just an observation I made since I've been here. It's just like, it blows my mind and it makes me so sad for the locals. And that's why when I go to restaurants here, like it's not even mandatory to tip because it's included in the bill, but I will tip you if you're a service worker here, because I know the struggle, I get it. And it really just makes my blood boil when I see all these people, these wealthy people, just la -di da not giving a crap. Um, you know, about how they're affecting everyone else here, who was here before them, who it's their actual home. A lot of rich expats are building mega mansions here. They're destroying wildlife here. I just read about these mansions being built in Guanacaste and because of all the electricity and because of all the wires, monkeys are getting electrocuted. Dude, it's not okay. Something needs to change. So I just want you guys to think about that, dwell on it, do whatever you got to do. But I will tell you the grass isn't always greener. And when you go to a country outside of yours and you think it's better, experience it like a local and your eyes will be opened.